Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Today we're talking about the phonetic alphabet. Welcome and thank you for joining me for another edition of Ham Radio Q&A, the show where I answer your amateur radio questions. I'm Michael, KB9VBR, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about the phonetic alphabet. If you ever spent time on the HF bands, you've surely heard stations using the words to spell out their call signs or other pieces of information. This phonetic alphabet is one way amateur radio operators try to eliminate confusion or ambiguity over the airwaves, especially when band conditions are poor. While you'll seldom hear the phonetics on the VHF UHF bands where FM modulation audio quality is better, on HF with sideband modulation it's a common occurrence. But where did these special phonetics come from? Well, since the early days of radio, telephonic communication, the military used phonetics to help eliminate confusion and relaying information. But there was no one universal phonetic set until the International Telegraphic Union established the first common phonetic alphabet in 1927. The initial standard was a far cry to what we use today, but with decades of refinement and changes, a common international phonetic was adopted in 1965. This standard is interchangeably called the NATO phonetic alphabet or the ITU phonetic alphabet and is used by the military, civilians, radio communicators, and aviators worldwide. But enough with the history, what actually is the ITU phonetic alphabet? Well, I'll run through it quickly for you. Alpha Bravo Charlie, Delta Echo, Foxtrot Golf Hotel, India Juliet, Kilo Lima Mike, November Oscar, Papa Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Zulu. These words are quite distinctive and make it easier to copy letters over weak signal conditions. But I must caution you, while the words are standard, the pronunciation isn't, and you may hear the words pronounced slightly different depending if the speaker has a military or aviation background, or if English isn't their native tongue. But after spending a short amount of time on the air, you'll quickly train your ear to hear these distinctions, and using and copying the phonetic alphabet will become second nature. But the ITU phonetic alphabet isn't the only game in town. Law enforcement will often use their own set of phonetics, and you may hear a mix of these words along with other random phonetics that the speaker may be accustomed to using. These non-standard phonetics may be fun to use, but I caution you, they can cause confusion over the air. For example, one field day, I decided to use funny phonetics over the air for our station's call sign. Instead of saying Whiskey 9 Sierra Mike for the call sign W9SM, I said Whiskey 9 Sour Mash. While the effect was humorous, it threw off the receiving party and took several repeats until they got the call sign. So no one used the phonetic alphabet over the air and any time else you need to eliminate ambiguity. Well that's it for this edition of Ham Radio Q&A. Be sure to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook for more amateur radio advice. I'm Michael, Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo. Thanks for watching and join us again soon. 73.